What's up everybody, my name is Chris and today I want to talk to you about the Zoom H5 and the two ways you can actually record a microphone like the Rode VideoMic NTG which has a mini jack connector. First of all, obviously the Zoom H5 has its own capsule at the top here which is removable and there you have a mini jack port on the side which basically disables these microphones right here but then you can record a microphone like this. The other option we are going to talk about is the Rode VXLR Plus which I recently also compared to the Rode VXLR which you can use to essentially connect it to an XLR port at the bottom here so that it looks like this. Now I want to compare which of these two methods actually brings you the better signal, which sounds better, which has more noise, and those kind of things. Now first of all, why would you even want to do this? And I would say one of the main reasons is that you want to record multiple mini jack based microphones. For example, you could have a Lavier microphone and also a microphone like the Rode VideoMic NTG here but you don't want to have those mounted on top of your camera and instead you want to use a recorder like this which provides you with WAV files instead of the data that the camera records and it also might be more practical to move around with it or also record podcast type content that way. Now I was curious because I have this recorder and I knew that it has the option to record those types of microphones right here. But now with this new adapter for the Zoom F6, which I'm also going to make more videos about, I was curious which of these two actually has the better sound. So that if you run into the same situation, you don't have to test it yourself, but you can just see if my findings are enough for you to make your own judgment. Now what I basically did for this test is I took this recorder, I plugged in the adapter right here and then I enabled the left right channel for this recording and I made one recording like that and then I made another recording with the adapter down here recording into channel one. In both cases there were no effects on the channel whatsoever and I also did not add any effects after the fact. Now let's take a listen on the sound samples and see how those came out as well as a short piece of room tone or just nothingness so you can hear how the noise performs and then I'll be back. This is a test recording of the Rode VideoMic NTG into the Zoom H5 top capsule here which is the XYH5. There is no effect on that channel. It is recording at gain setting of 2 and this is how it sounds with my voice in this type of environment. This is a test recording of the Rode VideoMic NTG into the XLR port channel 1 of the Zoom H5. This is done with the adapter Rode VXLR Plus. There are no effects on this channel and the gain is set to level 4. This is how it sounds with my voice in this room with this type of setup. Now listening to those two sound samples, I only was able to find two very small differences. One of them was if you're using the adapter and specifically the Rode VXLR Plus here, the signal strength was less loud than using the mini jack port up here. So I had to turn the gain knob up to level 4 on the channel instead of only level 2 on the gain knob at the top here at the XYH module. That was all done with the same exact settings on the Rode VideoMic NTG. This was put to 15 in terms of its microphone volume knob and I had the minus 20 dB pad engaged and that was because I was speaking very close to the capsule and if I don't use the minus 20 dB pad then it just clips already in the microphone. So that was the setup that I was using there. So one difference, the signal strength wasn't as strong coming through the adapter instead of using the one up here. And the other thing that I found was actually just the noise floor was measured a little more silent. In my case, this was just three to four decibels, but there was a difference. Now from those findings, I would say those two solutions are basically usable interchangeably. Obviously, if you want to just record one microphone, you might get away with just using this port up here because it also has this lower noise floor. If you want to use multiple, make sure to set the gain right and you're fine. 
One more thing I want to mention though is that depending on where you plug it in, you have to also set certain settings specifically for microphones that don't have their own power. In the case, for example, of the mini jack up here, you would have to provide the plug-in power for, for example, a microphone like a Lavier microphone or also a Rode Video Micro or something similar. The Rode Video Mic NTG has a built-in battery, so you don't need a plug-in power for this microphone specifically and also other microphones that have their own power provided. Now, if you use an adapter like this, this is the Rode VXLR Plus, then you can just plug this in at the bottom and if your microphone needs plug-in power, then you would enable the phantom power on that port. Now, please be careful to use an XLR to mini jack adapter that also has those transformers inside and I will link you a video in the description below where I describe the difference between this and the Rode VXLR without the plus because there is a difference and it makes a huge difference when using with smaller microphones that expect plug-in power instead of phantom power because this one here actually transforms it and that way your microphone doesn't break. So again, if you want to plug in a microphone here that needs power, for example, a Lavier, then you would have to use plug-in power. And if you want to plug it in down here, then you would have to activate phantom power and use the right adapter. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you and it was the information that you were looking for. Now, please give this video a like if it was helpful and also help others find this information. If you have further questions, leave those in the comment section down below and I'm going to try my best to answer them there. If you want to have more videos like this in your inbox, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao!